Most, I, honestly, it's pretty split, but this is a SG special. I've broken way too many nice SGs, and I used to like nice guitars, and then I realized that I don't need one. Sure. So we basically just buy these and then rip everything out. Take all the pickups out. Mod everything out to where it's just an on knob. So it's just volume. Volume, and then uh, Seymour Duncan humbucker, and that's literally it. Yeah. And this stays in drop D for the whole set. So before, we would have like a whole vault of C sharp, C, everything, and... Diego basically programmed our fractals, which we'll get to in a minute, be our playback with Ableton to where we have pitch blocks. So if I needed to be in C, it's just a simple thing that he puts in and then the blob hits and now all of a sudden it's lower and I just ride this for everything aside from drop A baritone stuff. Love that. What's yeah. up with this cool wooden pick card there? So I don't this know. guitar is really weird. I We're not sure if it's honestly legit or not because oh. we got off reverb off of just some cat. Um, I tried to get as close to the other one that he had, which was a 1970, like the yeah, special T with the two mini humbuckers. Right. And my friend over here just decided to murder it at the last show of our last tour, dropped it on its face and it broke in half. So I picked up this to get as close as I could, but normally this comes with a one ply parchment pick guard and it came with this guy, which leads me to believe that it was either the guy tried to make one on his own or right. something. <laughs> it's um, for sure handmade. <laughs> and there's like the, the nut is also has just a bunch of tool marks on it still. A lot Ooh. of it just seems very kind of maybe like he made a kit guitar, but either way, it, it honestly plays better than the last one, so we're not really gonna complain. Wow. Yeah. 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 And then we just dropped a JB in the bridge. It's bespoke. Yeah, it's just a standard telly. Okay. Again, same thing. No input jack because I rip them out. So Diego just took out all this shit. Same Seymour Duncan and then so did Change you mod input. this to, for the input jack to be on Yeah, the basically my standard process when I get a new guitar for them is just take everything apart, rip out all the controls, and move the jack on a telly to the, the tone knob position. Yeah. yeah, in the plate. Um, and then I take uh, pretty much just all the pickups out, wire it straight to that tone control, or that volume control. Yeah, just We're keep done. It. So Same thing. This thing is so sick, and I've seen uh, uh, these come up a lot recently, and I guess they're kind of sought after now, right? Like, they definitely are, yeah. In part, thanks to Loathe, who's on our tour, because they kind of popularized sure. this in that music video, and after that, it just exploded. Yeah, man, they're, they're nice. Oh, I, li they're I like awesome. it a lot. There's been a couple of weird Squire guitars that have found some kind of, like, lore. real mainstream lore. Yeah, yeah because, like the bass six and stuff like that, Absolutely. because Fender's not making it, but um, why baritone instead of, you know, a, just a lower tuning on, a, on another guitar? I actually like it. Does the difference yeah. in scale fuck you up live at all? I actually like it because it's, again, I care about doing something else. And mm -hmm. when all my frets are jammed together, I have to be way more precise. But with this, like, I could play all of our drop D stuff sure. so much easier because okay. I have this much placement rather than this much placement. So I actually like the long scale. I'm small and short, so... I wear I'm it a, high a, to make sure I can reach, and it looks a little quirky sometimes. Maybe. I'm a fan too. I started out on Gibson scale guitars. And yeah. I remember the first time I kind of messed with with Fenders, even not baritone Fenders. It was like, holy shit, this is so much easier. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> like, and same thing though. I mean, input jacks here. Fuck that. Take this out. Don't need that. And it's just. I love how you just. Jack, um, nope, no, never no. mind. Is yeah. that just because of the angled cables that you? It use? just makes it easier instead of having to deal with like you know this yeah. poking out here and having to remember where I plug in the cable, it's kind of like a muscle memory thing for both of us. Like sure. if something comes unplugged, he doesn't have to be, oh yeah, this is the, the bullet style jack. It just, right. it's always right yeah. in the same spot. When boom, strobes boom, are boom. going and you're trying to like panic mode, okay. you just no put way. it right there and you're done, you know? All right, so tell me about this pickup. Just, just a, a standard stock, stock. faster shape P90. Did you have to, uh, you know, EQ anything? specifically for this guitar because everybody knows jam pickups sound like shit but yeah. we, it, it's a p90 so i guess it'll it's still gonna be a little noisier than a, than a humbucker it is you know? but the gate that we have kind of is like a global gate that splits the difference between both styles of pickups and it just we don't ever have any noise issues at all was it stock yeah yeah we haven't changed anything except for just we have another one, one that we just threw out oh yeah so oh, yeah. if we would have known they'd be worth two trillion dollars yeah. we would have saved it no 